Okay, that was fun. <laughs> that uh, was fun. All right, let's head over, to, right. Let's head over to the uh, batch. Now, I, we'll now I'm guessing stuff. everyone's heading over to the, uh, and I'm get I'm guessing JoJo would as well. So basically, what we were thinking was like everyone's he heading over to Hoshimi. Yeah. And, yeah, it's like it's um, the fortune teller. Like, then, oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every jo JoJo's out looking for the fat man. Oh right. Uh, could you roll a uh. Uh, could you roll a society check for me, please? Society? Sure. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. All right, All so. Right. <clears throat> Should be on the bottom. Um, All right, so Hoshimi, why don't you describe the dress that Reinhardt has made? <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a long flowing red satin gown with gold trimmings around like the um the v the v neck collar. And she has one one arm that has a long sleeve, and the other has like an a, an elbow length red glove and no sleeve. Ooh. It, Pretty. She's uh -huh. managed to do her hair up into a sort of half bun with the rest of her hair like hanging down her back. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and um there's like he um he managed to do like a <laughs> A bow, a ribbon around her waist that's knotted up to look like a sort, almost a rose, with the way the bow is crinkled. Oh, wow! Oh. She's now she strides onto stage very confidently, and I'm gonna go for performance. <coughs> All right, sorry. Nice. Performance, Good. lovely. Yay. Hey, gosh, is that will safe enough to keep Charlene's jaw off the floor? Uh, <laughs> was that will? Uh, no, no, it was not. Crap! <laughs> you're oh, done. Okay. So yeah, Shylin, uh, you were able, huh. you were able to keep it together for Olwen, not Hoshimi. <laughs> Hoshimi knows how to carry herself. Olin has a charisma of negative one. She does not. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's what I'm, here's what I'm, here's what I'm thinking. Hmm. She, looks, she looks very, honestly, she looks very nice. Maybe I should compliment her and then she starts <laughs> dancing. <laughs> and that's a good, and then she starts dancing, I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah, it's like, and then she starts to... <laughs> <laughs> there we go! Hoshimi takes a graceful bow at the audience and confidently strides off stage. Charlene <laughs> actually punches his own jaw closed. <laughs> Owen, Owen is clapping both for Hoshimi and for Reinhardt's work. Um, and she get, musters up all of her courage out of love for her brother. Uh, you can uh, bid on that uh, that dress will be available for the um, for the uh, fashion raffle. So if you all are interested in it, you should b buy tickets. If I, and then uh, Flynn notices that she's struggling a little bit, and he's like, "You heard it here, folks. If you like that stunning gown that she has shown off, it's available for the fashion raffle. So make sure you buy, buy, buy those tickets as much as you can. Money is not an object for such fashionable faux pas as this." Oh hi, and Flynn. Flynn. When did yeah. you get here? <laughs> and Silent. <laughs> Steps up and Shylin steps up next to Owen. And if red's not your color, look at this lovely design of blue worn by this beautiful tiefling here. Ah! <laughs> Is she still wearing it? No, no, oh, uh, no she had changed. Yeah. Oh, as in like worn it. past heads. Yeah. Um, never, never, no, uh, never mind. Uh, that was never still mind sweet. Her. Yeah, no, oh, never mind. Hindsight, that was sweet. Very, it doesn't quite work. <laughs> yeah, but hindsight, that was still sweet. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hashimi strides back to the no, to the tent. <laughs> well, oh, I am going to. We are going to get so, so much. Pussy. 
th thank I'm... you, thank you very, very much. Of course. This dress is very well made. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> if I had the spare money, I would bid for it myself. <clears throat> uh, Hoshimi starts to change back into her regular uh, clothes. Hmm. All right. Oh, Seven went to go follow. Yeah, right. Seven's like poking yep. her head in and, and is like looking at, well, not looking directly for Hoshimi, who's getting dressed, obviously, but it's like, she's like just looking around. I want to dress my feathers like that. Seven, is that you? Yes! <laughs> you keep changing your, 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 your feathers! I want to be able to do that! Uh, I left you a message in Discord, Josh. Yep, I see it. All right. Okay, so... I'm so glad that you used Ayame's music. That made my day. Yeah. I told... I, I showed him our conversation. <laughs> so how much do I owe you? Uh, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> so, uh, we're doing Finn's thing next. Yeah. Um, we were gonna have like people venture over for fortunes. Yes. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. But while they go for fortunes, Olwyn is going to also go onto the rooftops to look for Fat Man. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll just follow everybody else to the fortunes too. And a Sybil. Sybil's coming too. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming. Oh, definitely. Yes. Dude, all of us go to fortunes. Other than Flint, Sybils is the one that I'm most interested in. Not that I don't love all of you guys, but Sybils <laughs> is the one that I'm interested in. Too late, you've already broken It's okay, I'm late, offended. You've already broken my heart. I'm already <laughs> offended, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you're putting a little undue pressure on Josh now. He's the one who has to give the fortune. Um, also, yeah. Shay, you need to have a heart first for it to be broken. Ouch. Yeah, uh, Elliot, aren't you in a second? He's going to answer Doc first. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, quick question. Uh, is there like a like a magic vendor around here? Magic vendor? Like, uh, what are you looking for? Scrolls. Uh, yeah, you could probably find some. You could you could easily find some scrolls around here. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll ask Laura. Before quick. he before he goes off, Olwen's gonna say, Adrian, I'm going um, hopping, and looking for the pig. Um. Is there a particular physical feature I should look for other than his size? Uh, give me a second. Maybe to... his nose up his own butt. <laughs> I was thinking more hair color other than, you know. I mean, I got the general gist, like, fancy clothes, large body, daddy issues, the inferiority complex. But um, none of those really help with identifying too much. Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can try and find the, <clears throat> the picture Josh sent me of him. You know, oh. fancy clothes, fancy clothes, insecurity, daddy issues. If it wasn't for the apparent size, I'd be looking at Adrian very suspiciously. I was gonna say <laughs> if you are looking for him, uh, look for a guy who's looks like he has like a br like a, a brunette mullet with like the worst mustache goatee combo you can think of. Ugh. Yeah. Hollyhock, he is not. I was about to say, why are why is my nemesis so fashionable and yours is not? Huh. I don't know. If, uh, I don't know. Let, I don't know. I'll ask the cards later. Um. Okay, I'll be. If you need me, if you all need me, I'm sure you or Hoshimi have some sort of spell that can get my attention, like um, I don't know, some. Bright light or loud noise or something. I'll just so keep an eye out for you, okay? All I'll right. be. I'll. And also, if you find a vendor that sells yarn, just let me know where that is. Uh, sure. Okay. Back later. Right. Uh, she deftly hops up the boxes and uses Snaky to hop up on this roof. So, uh, first, Flint. So Marilyn, she looks up from her. T she looks up from her cards, and uh, she she's looking for two sides. Oh, I looked down for one second, and now I'm suddenly popular. 
Really? I thought fortune tellers were always popular. Uh, not in the ways that we usually like. So, what? To, so, what challenge do you guys want to win? Hmm, there's a challenge there. Is is there? Yes, this is the Feast of Fortune. Did you forget where you were for a second? Oh, I thought you meant that the fortune telling itself had some kind of challenge involved in it. I'm guessing most people come here to learn how they can win one of the games. That's the idea. Yeah, I'm not most people. Neither is Flint. There is one game that we're trying to win, and because he's been short enough that she can't see him in front of the table, now she can actually see his face. There is one game we're trying to win. <clears throat> game of life. Oh. Wait, I know you. Do you now? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's your ta Flint! Flint, yes! There you go! Good to see you. So how's the wait, fortune you, telling this? Wait, how do you know him? Uh, me and Adrian kind of... We, we hung out back in the day? So obviously I know his siblings. Wait, how, but Adrian didn't recognize when he... Wait, how do you know Adrian? He then says to Melwyn. Oh, wait, siblings, I get it. You're a sister. Oh, he can put two and two together. Next year, next year tell me he actually graduate basic math. <laughs> I'm already starting to like you. Uh, the feeling is not mutual. Good. Anyways. You're good. You have some level of intelligence. Hmm. Anyways. So... You want to so Flint? You want to get your fortune read? Ah, uh, hmm. Uh, why do I ask for something like this? Ah, uh, hmm. He thinks really hard about it. He even kind of paces paces in circles a little bit, and he actually then he approaches the table. He actually has an idea. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know if this is too broad or not, but I want to know. Does Flint have a future? Hmm. Does Flint have a future? You know, friends, an identity, people who know that name is... Does Flint have a future? Mar Marilyn says, mm. "She quickly, uh, she she quickly shuffles a, a bunch of cards. Uh, could you pick one for me, please?" Uh okay. Uh, that one. All right. She looks at it, she looks at it, she looks at it real quick. Then she deals out the the three cards and she kind of peeks under them. Yeah, figured. Um, Flint, could we? Can, can I talk to you about this? Um, alone after I'm done with everyone else. Uh, uh, uh sure. Okay. Because um, this is kind of uh, important. Oh, okay. Flint's a little nervous, so like, it, it was it maybe it was that bad? So he's like, okay, uh, Shylan, you want to go? Uh, sure. Also, out of character, I'm just thinking, does Flint have a name? Will Flint be remembered? Spirits, answer this question. The spirits answer, who the heck is Flint? <laughs> Aww. That's horrible. Yeah. Come on. Boo. You have a, it's like you have a, you have a fortune. It's just, um, presenting it to you is, uh, something I'd, I think it would be wiser to do in private. Okay. That, that's fine. All right. You. Sit down. Yes. Jalen takes a seat. All right. So what's your, what's your question? Shylan pauses for a second. Uh, for a minute, he thinks he probably shouldn't waste anything important on this. After all, he doesn't really believe in the idea of the future, and yet, after a while, there is one that it's the only one that seems to really be the one he can think of asking, and Raquel. 
I am looking for someone, someone who may or may not be in danger. Hmm. I understand, but I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Who is she to you? Is she family, friend, lover? Neither, none of them. She was someone who... I was with Adrian when he was taken away. We found her there, and when we got back, due to a lot of circumstances, she was disappeared, presumed kidnapped by a dangerous person. Ah. I'm trying to make sure she's safe, and I'm not going to stop now. So she is a charge. Well, yes. then, it seems that we shall also draw from the deck of keys for this. I said the background music, but fine. So. Let us find your role. Choose your method of entry. Choose your key. The Peacock. Oh, how fitting. <laughs> That's pretty much his expression, like, yeah. Well, then. This is a creature of astonishing beauty and grace. People cannot contain it and would be wise to dance out of its way unless they can freeze it stone cold into inaction. So, let's see how we shall proceed from here. She once again shuffles the deck and draws them into a three by three column. So, how would you like your fortunes revealed to you? Past, present, and future? Or good news, ambivalent news, and bad news? The past has been experienced, the future is an illusion. Let's go good news, bad news, ambivalent news. Very well. Let us start in heaven. Perfectly aligned. Very fortunate for you. The hidden truth. It seems there are powerful clues hidden to your charge's location, hidden in your past with her. If you can remember them clearly, you will get closer. Keep that in mind as we move forward in the reading. Let us move to Elysium, the vision. So, madness or cryptic words surround you at present. And though you may not understand their meaning, you at least understand their importance. Continue paying attention, it will serve you well. And to Arborea, the best news I can see in your future. The cricket! That's a fantastic sign. It seems after much travel... You are destined to find her eventually. Your mission will be a success, and you will find her faster than you might think. That's rather comforting. But let's see if the cards may give us any warnings. To Nirvana. The Lost. Hmm. There is a moment in your past with your charge that you were assaulted by uncertainty and madness. And this is where you needed clarity of mind, but didn't have it, or at least didn't have enough. If you are to somehow get it, clarity of mind, that is, you would be well on your way to getting closer to finding her. Let us move on to the Outlands. Your role. The Peacock. This is your entry in strong alignment. Your station is both a blessing and a curse to your quest. It will take wisdom to make them work towards your goal and stop them from hindering you. I'm very curious. What do you think is hindering you right now the most? He, um... There's a pause from him, and... 
He doesn't answer immediately, in fact, he spends a while thinking about it, but it's not... It doesn't feel like he's avoiding the question, it feels like he's seriously asking himself. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure yet. I and I think if I knew, I'd already have the answer. Knew what the problem was, I'd already have the answer to fix it. Hmm. Well, let us move to Limbo. Even bad news can be helpful. The sickness in Limbo. Oh dear. This is a card of corruption and change. You are not too late to save her, but whatever happens, she will not be as you knew her when she is found. And it's unclear whether this is good or bad. Now, let us move to the bad news. To hell, we have the Wanderer. It seems that in your past, you have often discarded those you felt were beneath you or you considered useless. And this has contributed to the loss of your charge. Fear not, it has the potential to change or hopefully has changed already and you're simply not aware of it yet. Moving to Hades. The Rakshasa. Your hindrance, whatever it is, that, that was alluded to, is a form of slavery. Whether mental or physical, literal or figurative, there is information you must find to cast off your slave master. And if you do not, finding her will be harder. And now we move to the Abyss. The Idiot. Yes, that's always it was in character. But it, it's a bit, of, a bit more of a bitter snort, like, of course. It seems that in the future, the battlefield over your charge will involve mind games, gambits in feints of intelligence and strategy. She points back to the cricket. Given that you will eventually succeed, this must mean that you will likely lose many of those battles of wit before you win the war for her. And I won't lie, it will likely be miserable. Prepare yourself for that eventuality. If I'm seeing all these cards correctly, in order to find this Raquel, you must think back to your times with her. All of all times with her. It will require much thought and especially self-improvement. But fate seems to believe you will succeed after a difficult journey. So you're telling the player character to go and watch the old sessions again? I wasn't trying to imply anything, but, but I wasn't trying to imply that, but it and it would help. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be wouldn't that be metagaming though? Uh well, not really. It's just like if you're thinking back to, to them, I suppose you could It's a, it's like it, uh, unless you're saying te that taking notes is metagaming. Well, taking notes could be you're literally taking notes in character, watching it the could old sessions. Could... It could be, but oftentimes it's not. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, uh, looks up at the re lo and Merylwyn looks up. So, I hope you found a satisfactory answer. I found answers. Hmm. <clears throat> this, uh, 
this group. She she looks to set both Seven and Sybil. Do either of you have a fortune you wish to ask? I am curious. Hmm. And I am excited. Okay, so she she looks at you. She's looking you up and down. Could you give me your hand for a second? Sybil extends his fingers. And then she touches them. She she flips your hand she flips your hand over then she just looks over your palm and fingers. Fascinating. I think you have the gift for the harrowing as well. Do tell. Hmm. I would need to give you instruction, but one second. She goes under her table and she pulls out a deck of cards. And then she gives it to and then she gives it to Sybil. These will allow you to perform a harrowing as well as interpret one. If you wish to know what if you wish to understand your past, present, and future, I think these would help you. But maybe I can the best way to show you is through example. I'm intrigued. So what is your question? Why was I spared? Oh, well, uh, hmm. Well, for that sort of knowledge, we'll have to draw from the deck of crowns. cry again no so choose how you shall present yourself am i supposed to yeah you can ping it ping it ping a card how do you ping i'm clicking hold, it hold hold left click Hold left click. Okay. There we ah, go. There we go. The empty throne. A bittersweet card. You are the bearer of knowledge from a distant past, though you may not know it yet. Once again, shuffles the cards. How do you wish to have this knowledge presented to you? Past, present, future? Good news, ambivalent news, and bad news. Which one is which? Would you rather have the news, have the fortune <coughs> presented to you via your past, your present, and your future? or by good news, ambivalent news, and bad news. Let's go with good, ambivalent, and bad. Very well. Starting in heaven, the avalanche. Hmm. You averted a great disaster, but not without price. Whatever that disaster was and what that price was, I don't know, but maybe the cards can tell us. In Elysium, we have the Demon's Lantern. A 
apparently a guide has shown itself to you at an opportune moment and saved you from despair. Be led to where they are by them. They seem dangerous, but they are not. To Arborea, the best news I can get about your future, the survivor. This is a card symbolizing rebirth, something lost, but now is found. According to this, you may just see your fa you may just see what you're looking for again. Somehow. Why you were spared? You lost family, didn't you? I lost everything. Hmm. Well, a survivor's a good card. Apparently you've only lost them temporarily. Let us move to the ambivalent news. The desert in Nirvana. Someone has given your family salvation or rescue when they most needed it. I'm not sure, but do not despair for things are not so bleak for you. In the Outlands, hmm, partial alignment. It seems that you are seeing glimpses of your past, present, and future, but you cannot make sense of them all just yet. Be patient, and wisdom will come. And now for Limbo, we have... The Courtesan. Perfect alignment. Hmm. It appears that a woman of power in your life possibly knows what happened to your family. It is unclear what she thinks of you, and her opinion will only be swayed by how you treat her. Decide wisely. And oh, she, what'd you do? <clears throat> Why you gotta go that route, huh? Why it gotta be me? Now, for hell. Perfect alignment. Something from a very long time ago has influenced your family or stolen them away from you. Now in Hades, the locksmith, there is a person somewhere now who can give you the keys to what you seek, but they will not give them to you easily. They are nearby and the keys are guarded and you will need to take them to continue. And now for the abyss. Your role, the empty throne. All answers you seek will come for you at some point, and you are not going to like them. There is restlessness in your past that must be reconciled, and this journey will be a torment. A very bittersweet harrowing. I hope you found the answers that you sought. And I do hope you find your family. After all, if you haven't got family, what have you got what else have you got? Hey. Thank you for your counsel. Hmm. All right, then. Who wishes to have their future read now? So, wait a minute. You, you're telling me you can... Answer any question? Yes. Well, not really answer any question, more 
what these cards do is they tell people where to look to get the answers to their question. After all, there's only so much that the magical reverberations of the universe can give us. Lots of things get mixed up and twisted, and these are the clearest answers that we can get. Well, I have so many questions, though. I, I like what, what I am. I am. I still a griffin. What's my name? Am I my sister to someone? Will I learn how to fly soon? Uh, 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 of course, my family and my real parents. Uh, uh, please, 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 please. One question, please. But uh, one's not can, enough. I'm I'm sorry, but that's how the magic works. I can only do one, and it will take months before I can get an accurate reading. If you try to get too many miracles, you get nasty miracles. Uh, uh seven scratches at her rod for a moment. Um. Poor hat then she... taking a beating today. Yeah, that poor hat. <laughs> um. Then she remembers the the potion. I'm not sure I want to know, but who am I? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Having a small identity crisis, are we? Maybe a little imposter syndrome? I don't even know my name. They call me Seven, but I feel like it's not my name. Well, then I think in that case we shall also draw from the Deck of Crowns, then. So, let us see your role in the quest of self-discovery. This is the most important card. So choose your gown wisely. The marriage. This is a card of union. Union of ideas. Remember this. And let's see where your role lies in the tapestry and gaze into... How do you want to do this? Past, present, and future? Or good news, ambivalent news, and bad news? Uh, whichever you think is better. Is that okay? That's fine. We can start with the past, the present, and the future. So, in heaven we have... Invisible cards. There they are. In there heaven, they are. In heaven, we have the betrayal. Strongly misaligned. I promise you this is good. I promise you. Well, sort of. This is a bittersweet card. In your past, there was a great self-sacrifice. And without it, you would likely not be here. Someone very noble traded themselves for you. This is a good sign. Take heart in knowing that you were valued so highly by someone. Oh, oh, oh. I wish I could tell you what happened to them, but at this point, all I know is that misfortune befell them. Nothing more. Let us continue with your past. Perhaps the answers may reveal themselves. Wow, here you are already! A permanent change or union was in your past, and because it was done in Nirvana, this union or change seems to have been done by... necessity. What could that mean for a talking griffin? I honestly haven't a clue. You are quite the enigma. So now we move to hell, and, uh, oof. Seems that in your past, some sort of corrupted love surrounded you. Obsession, unrequited passion, or a doomed love, I'm not quite sure. 
But the fact remains who you were. It involved much of a corrupted love. That's all I can see of your past. But let us move to your present and see if it reveals any of who you are. In Elysium we have... The Publican. Oh, that's nice. You are surrounded by friends. Outsiders would find your contributions to be inconsequential. But truly, you offer unique insights that few of your companions can. You may even be blind to your own contributions. To the Outlands, we have the Theater. Apparently, you have been a player on an important stage, moving and dancing along to someone else's puppet strings. Whether these strings are benevolent or malevolent, it is, unfortunately, unclear. In Hades, the Queen Mother. How sad. You wish to be a part of something bigger than you, and you are frustrated that you can't seem to find your place in it. Feeling like you don't belong anywhere. Am I in the ballpark? Uh, you could tell her eyes are widening and her ears are back. Ooh, too close to home. All right. Maybe your sense of self will strengthen in the future. The best possible news that I can give you is... Oh, that is the best possible news. Your little identity crisis is going to be either one of two things or both. It will either have a happy ending or a satisfying answer or both. But the future is not all sunshine and roses. Let us see the trumpet in limbo. Highly misaligned. Hmm. It seems that your future will have you act first and courageously many times. And it's unfortunately unclear whether or not that strategy works for you. You will need the support of friends when you do so. So encourage them. And now we move to the abyss. The courtesan. Interesting. There is a powerful woman who is shaping the events of your life, and she is your enemy. She will get in the way of your self-discovery. You will confront her at some point, and it will be very unpleasant. From what I can see, whoever you are, or at minimum were, you are important to others. Important enough to have friends and enemies you don't even know about. Yet, if you wish to learn more, I recommend staying with your current friends, as you will apparently need them to discover the answers to your questions. Uh, I have... enemies? Yes. But I don't even know who I wronged! Well... Sometimes people hate you for no reason. Sometimes... She, lo she looks up at seven. Sometimes people hate... Sometimes people hate you when you just try to do something nice for them. Uh, you can see the wheels are turning in her head at that. People hate for the pettiest of reasons. People hate... People hate who I am merely because of how I was born. People hate people like... She points, toor she points towards a, a tiefling in the... The healer tiefling in the tent... Uh, over by the healing tent. People hate her just for how she is. Anyone? <coughs> Olwyn. Anyone? Uh, Olwyn's not not around. I don't think. 
No, no, no. I'm just. Yeah, but she's just saying like. Anyone can find a reason to hate. And they're not. They're not ever good. Yes. Hating is just as bad as lying. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. I think I know what to do about somebody I got angry with and even was starting to hate. Hmm. Um. I don't know if this will help me to find out who I am or, uh, <laughs> there was something else that was lingering on my mind, but uh, one question, I, I got it. I hope this was helpful for you. And she looks up and she sees that every, everyone that she has just written she has just read is now looking a little depressed. Yeah. Sorry, there's a reason they call it a harrowing. Quint actually uh, invites Seven over for a hug to kind of cheer up a little bit. Uh, she she just presses her head into the hug. <laughs> I think I should find Jojo. And tell him for, I'm sorry. Maybe and um, explain. <laughs> Flint, uh, Flint actually uh, takes the bottle out of his pouch with a little note on it and gives it to her. Here, something to something to drink together. Uh, she takes it, and I guess I noticed the note. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she, I guess she reads it. All right, so yeah, the note was wow, it's all the way up here. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought he read it to her already. Oh yeah, he read it to her already, but just yeah. Oh, so I'm just switching over to headset again. Just a reminder, you know, like you can never. He basically said sorry. Yeah, he bad. Yeah. He Let's did that because he didn't want to hurt her feelings. Yeah. Um. Uh... Oh, wow, it is. Wow, it is really way up there. Yeah. But, um, okay. Well, we we don't have to read it because I got the gist of it. Okay. That um, I mean, that's the new, the new that's note fair. Says, the new note just says sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. Also, I guess... it it came with a gift. Yeah, I know. I handed her. I handed her the bottle with the note. Oh, it was a drink. Yeah, yes. that's why I said some, was... something you could drink together. The the first one was a drink. Yeah, the oh, second... which, was it the flask drink or was it the punch? Uh, the uh... oh, I should, I should go find him, and tell him how why I got angry. Hmm. It's only fair, right? Yeah, go 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 talk to him. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um. Yeah, I was going to say about, you know, what you revealed from the uh, perception check, but uh, it appears that uh, what I was planning to do, uh, you, Jojo, and Olwen already did in the sidebar. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's great. You were one step ahead of me. 